Yo, 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 what's up? Right, little short one here. I like doing these little short videos. Um, it's a cup of coffee-like video. Okay, a uh, quickish game. The uh, five-minute blitz that I played today. And the theme is sacrifices. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to play through. I'm going to stop and we're going to try and answer the question, how do you know when a, a sacrifice is good or when it's dumb? Okay. So we start at the beginning of game as is traditional, and we have e45. I'm playing the Vienna, and we have the Vienna gambit declined with pawn to d5. This is the the best move from Black. We take a pawn. Knight takes pawn, and um, I play the Paulson with queen f3. I know I've come up with a couple of like, alternatives to this recently, but I can't remember what they are, so uh, I went with what I knew. Knight takes knight and b takes. Right, now, sometimes, or well, very often, you'll want to play pawn to d4. If this bishop comes out, you definitely play it, because uh, it comes with tempo. Otherwise, you just kind of hold fire on that. Maybe get the, you know, get the king side developed a bit, get this bishop out, maybe get the knight out, get the king castled, and we're going to focus our attention, obviously, on f7. Okay, but this is all about the clergymen. This is about the bishops. Okay, so now I throw in d4. Throw in d4. Um... Might not be the most accurate, I don't know. We shall see. We'll do a quick review at the end. Black plays bishop to e7 now, seeing as this, 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 this are all out of bounds. The bishop's covering that one. Got pawns on all of these. Okay, so this bishop's, it's, it's okay. You know, it's okay. He's kind of, you know, kind of in, in the queen's way and whatever, but... All right, so now um, bishop had to b5. I play that pretty much without thinking. Pinning the knight and black castles. I play uh, knight to e2. Uh, kicks the bish, and the bish comes back now to d3. Okay. And this is, you know, these, these ideas will be very kind of specific to the Vienna, but definitely, obviously, recyclable elsewhere. Um, very often, the you know, the light squared bishop in the, in the Vienna is very often a good attacking piece. Um, quite often, he ends up here, pinning the, the f-pawn, preventing that f-pawn from moving. But also, this, this b1h7 diagonal is really good as well. So... Uh, we have we have bishop here, okay, and now knight to a5. Now, stop the clock, okay. Is this a good time, for example, to capture on h7, giving up our bishop, right? Well, let's think it through. So there's, there's I, I'm becoming increasingly convinced that actually I'm kind of warming to blitz a little bit recently. Because I think that there's there's a couple of areas of chess that overlap, and it's almost like there's there's a kind of a left brain right brain thing, you know. So there's your instinct for the game, which comes from pattern recognition, um, just yeah, just general general instinct. What and it almost happens without thinking. And blitz is is kind of good for developing that in a way. And then you've got your analytical side, which is calculation. And you need to use both. You need to use your left brain and right brain together. Okay. So here, let's. So you know, it's it's an idea. Your guts might go mm, maybe right. And then then what you have to do is you have to analyze. So okay, if we take here, king takes. Let's say queen comes here. Queen can't come to this square because of the bishop, right? So queen eight, h5 check. King comes back. Queen's on here. And then what? You know, could we throw in bishop number two, please? Right. And then what does he do? You know, he could push the pawn forward, hitting a queen. I don't know, you know. So to me, I mean, on paper anyway, one minor piece in exchange for two pieces in front of the king, that's normally worth considering. One minor piece in exchange for one of the bodyguard, nah, you know, you really need to be convinced. You need to know what the follow-up is going to be. Okay, so in this case, we don't do it. So what? what's better? Queen h5, right? Queen h5 first... And then instead of bishop there, king there, we're threatening queen there, and it's checkmate because the king can't take the queen because she's supported by the bishop, yeah? It's the same idea, it's just rearranging the pieces a little bit, yeah? And we have now, we have now a pawn to h6. So, again, using our same kind of idea, shall we evaluate the option of bishop takes h6 now? Again, Remember, look at this. This bishop has not moved in the game. 
and yet he could play a pivotal role, instantly jumping in, right? So bishop takes pawn. Let's say pawn takes. Queen takes. We've won two pawns. And what's more, our queen is threatening to jump straight to h7, right? And win the game. So bang. How long did I think about that? 4.9 seconds. Yeah. It was a no-brainer. Opponent now spends 50.9 seconds from 4 minutes 21 to 3 minutes 30 and plays this move, which I immediately meet with g3. And now he pushes the pawn forward, okay? We're kind of ready for this. Pushes the pawn forward. Now what would you play? Let's think again. Are we, so we've only won one pawn, actually. Yeah? Okay, I sack my other bishop. Or do I? Right? Is it a sack? Um, because realistically, yeah, queen's defending this. So if pawn takes, queen takes, check. Where can the king go? No, 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 no. King has to go here, right? So the king's there, and then queen to g7 is checkmate, right? So he can't take, but he does. Queen g6 there, and it's mate. Yeah? Very, very simple. And sacrifices... You know, where, the point is, when it's the right thing, it's like anything else in chess. Yeah, if it's the right thing to do, do it. If it's not, don't do it. It's like, you know, we're very often reticent to do something like, oh no, I don't want to move my, my knight back to its starting square. I've had people give up their knight in, you know, very often, you know, like advancing pawn, and they go, I can't, I just can't bring myself to put, put the stupid knight, put it back in the stable, Wally. You know, don't give it up. Just because principle, nah. Anyway, look at this, 95.6 accuracy. How's about that then? Um, one mistake, so where was the mistake? Oh, all right, bringing the bishop out. And uh, the machine saying I could have developed the knight first. Maybe, I don't know. So, you know, even at this point, and then, then knight comes out, best move, good. The bishop back there, best move. Queen there is excellent. Castle's even better, but only slightly, actually, slightly better. 0 0.08 of a pawn's worth. And that's a blunder. This leads to losing a rook, apparently. Brilliant move. Meh. So, hang on, so f5 there was the best move. f5 blocking one bishop. Interesting. But it's still plus 7.4 for white there. Okay, best move there. You know, getting out of the check. That's excellent. But again, f5. And a second brilliancy. All right, both of these bishops throwing their lives on the line. And now it's, it's just forced mate. There you go. Uh, so, very interesting. And we both played brilliantly in the opening, apparently. And I got 2298! For a blitz game, how about that then? So, so <clears throat> pardon me. Yeah, so, you know, we, we can do it. We can do it. And I love this guess the ELO thing, because you know what it tells me is, it tells me that, yes, I'm like 1500 right now, but the 1500 is like the average running total, uh, running count of my performance, right? I am capable of playing games at 2000 level. I'm equally capable of playing games at 500 level as well. But I'll take this one. Um, thought you might find that useful. Thanks for watching. See you soon.